Is Casablanca worth visiting? Is it safe? I explore this in this video and watch me as I show you the best things to do in Casablanca. But first, let's rewind to the airport in Portugal. So it's my last few hours in Lisbon. I got a mixed toast sandwich with ham cheese and a Paul coffee latte. I remember the first time I went to Paul, I was probably in Paris. But yeah, I'm so glad I just got some fresh tea that'll fill me up for my one hour and 20 minute flight from Lisbon. Yeah, I'm super excited, very tired. But when I get there, I have a really nice hotel to relax in. And I'm super excited to see Casablanca, the city where my father is from. Be prepared when you're traveling to come a little sooner because there's a lot of different things, a lot of paperwork you have to bring for flight. But I'm very excited to go and share this with you. When you arrive to the airport, definitely pick up a SIM card. You can get it from Orange for 100 dirham for 10 gigabytes. Also, you could either take a private taxi for 300 dirhams or you can take the train, which is much cheaper and easy to do. Good afternoon. I just arrived to Casablanca. I'm super excited. I may be tired, but I'm excited. I just checked in to the Ibis Casablanca City Center. The room is clean. There's a nice big bed. We have a TV as well as a desk with an interesting view. I mean, you can't see it right now, but I'll show you. There's a train station. You see some of the port and like the water farther out. And on the other side of this hotel is the Sofitel as well as the Novotel. And we're close by to the Hyatt Regency, another amazing hotel in the area. And this is where a lot of tourists stay because it's central. You can go visit some of the tourist attractions, the Medina, and just really take in all Casablanca has to offer. I'm going to take a quick nap, get dressed, and then head out to get some coffee or food I don't know but I just want to see some of Casablanca now let's get going finally made it I'm at the Ibis Casablanca City Center and there's a restaurant here as well you can have breakfast in I love my room I'm on a top floor so I have a little bit of a view and the downstairs is actually amazing they have a lot of desk space places to work grab a cup of coffee there's also a little hotel lobby bar but so much to do and I'm ready to explore and go grab some food. The Medina of Casablanca. Oh, there's even a youth hostel here as well. So I'm just heading and I'm heading through the Medina which is definitely interesting. There's so much going on. It's a Friday, one of their big prayer days, so it's not so busy and actually pretty enjoyable to walk around. Let's check out some more of it. Not only is it worth it traveling to Casablanca, I would say it is also doable if you're a solo traveler, especially a solo female traveler. I had an amazing experience walking around the Medina and felt safe walking to see the sights. I really felt like I arrived to Morocco when I heard the Muslim call to prayer for the first time in Casablanca. Muslim call to prayer is going on right now, and I just happen to be by this mosque to hear it. Walking around, it was great to get a feel of life in Casablanca and see what people were up to on a Friday. I actually got this awesome cake for four dirhams. It looks like it was made by a god. Check this out. All right, so I got this cake for four dirhams. I don't even know what that is, but it looks so good. And he had so many delicious baked goods and he's just selling it out of the back of his car all the way down there. Check it out, right in front of the mosque. So cool. Hmm, this is so cool. I love Morocco already. So I'm here in front of La Scala, one of the most popular restaurants in Casablanca. Here you can get a lot of tangines, traditional Moroccan food. Super beautiful. And in located in this historic building right outside of the Medina. Definitely a very Instagram worthy place. And worth your time. Just heading to see if I can find some coffee. 
and tea, rock and mint tea. It's been a long time since I've had that. And if I'm gonna have sugar, it's gonna be that. After walking around, I decided to get a meal at Tavern du Delphine, of course, because they are specializing in fish, and we're in Casablanca, right on the ocean, so why not? Good evening, I'm here at Tavern du Dauphine having my first meal out in Casablanca and everybody's been so nice. I walked through the Medina, had some mint tea, coffee, talked to some people and so far it's been such a great experience. But right now I'm just going to dine in, got some bread and of course olives. I freaking love olives. And I came to a fish restaurant because we're in Casablanca and I thought why not try something that is more indicative of the area. So I don't know if it's a thing about being a woman, but they sit me in my own little area. It's a non-smoking section too, so maybe that's why. But even when I was at another place having tea, the guy was so sweet and gave me tea for free and had me sit inside. And same when I went to a coffee place, I sat inside and talked to this like really nice, sweet old man. And he was just like talking to me. His English was good. He told me his brothers live in the US. And honestly, at first I was like a little bit nervous to just walk into a cafe because all of them were men, but it was really not so bad and everybody was super friendly. Okay, I don't know what this red stuff is, but it's super spicy. <coughs> I love it, but it's good. Here we go. Who knows what this is? Please tell me in the comments because it's good, but very spicy. Mm. And then black olive. Mm -mm. Really good. So leave it to me to order so much food for one person. But I got this Solette, which is a white fish looks really good and then I got mixed legumes because I needed something fresh with some rice and they brought bread and butter as well but this is a lot of food I really wish I had a microwave in my room because this is gonna be hard to finish but we'll dig it in and see what it's like here we go one thing I'm getting used to is all this fish is so fresh but it tastes very good so fresh I love it I'm going to get some rice Mm, there's even good seasoning on the rice. It tastes so good. A plus. Ooh. Figured it out how to get the bones out. It's actually getting quite cool out and dark out, so I'm going to finish up here at Tavern du Dauphine. And they gave me some awesome pastries. I'm going to try these and then head back, but this looks so good. Oh my god, it looks like baklava, some other pastry. I don't know what they are, but I'm going to eat them. Maybe get a coffee too. Who knows? Here goes nothing. About to have one of these delicious, it looks like baklava treats. What does it say on it? Omud, Omud Casablanca. Oh my god, I need to move to Morocco, like, now. This is so good. It's hard to describe everything going on right now. I have a really, a lot of emotions going on because it's just, you know, when I'm walking around, I see people like walking through the Medina, older woman, and it reminds me of my grandmother or what her life must have been like and my aunt Samra who lived here in Casablanca, and well, I never got to connect that much with that side of my culture. Traveling to a place that you have a connection to like this, and you've never been, it's really like overwhelming in the best possible way, and people have been so nice. It just is like everything like, I could have asked for. People are being so friendly. They gave me these pastries and some other things to try. I'm so excited and grateful to be here finally, and glad that I was able to come during this time. But for now, I'm going to finish this and then head back to my hotel and just relax for the rest of the night. That was actually one of the best meals I had in a while. Oh, crossing the street here is its own game, man. This is like Frogger, definitely some wild streets. But Tavern du Dauphine was so good. I'm so glad I was able to come. And the taxi cab driver that recommended it, thank you. He had hooked me up with a good, good place to check it out. We're now gonna get back to the hotel and rest because I'm tired and I wanna have a good day tomorrow. And here we are, just coming back to the Ibis Hotel. As soon as I got back, I passed out from the jet lag. 
Time to venture off. I'm gonna go to the Hassan Moss the second and then get some breakfast. I think I found a cool cafe that overlooks it and just take a walk and take in the sights of Casablanca. I'm super excited. Yesterday night was awesome. A great sleep at the Ibis City Center Hotel and now I'm ready to go off and explore. Let's go. If you're looking for something quick and easy, the Ibis Hotel had a great buffet breakfast. It was huge, but it did cost around $10. So I decided to go check something out more local in the Medina. So right now, just having some coffee. Mm. And I'm literally the only girl at this cafe. And yeah, just in the Medina in Morocco and Casablanca, heading to the San Mas the second. And then I'm going to go to the another cafe, I think, for breakfast. But I just wanted to stop and get some coffee. It costs nine dirham for a double shot of espresso, which is pretty good, especially since I need to wake up. But for now, I'm gonna chill and just continue to enjoy the views. Everywhere I felt welcomed in the old town Medina of Casablanca. And I was so surprised by the colorful streets of this beautiful city. But be prepared to be turned around one time or two because the Medina is definitely windy. One reason to visit Casablanca are the amazing restaurants that are throughout the city. Good morning, I'm here at the Gatsby Cafe for their Petit Dejeuner menu. They have a menu that basically comes with so many different things. Like I have some Moroccan style eggs with their version of bacon. I'm pretty sure it's turkey. And I have some sweets, yogurt, coffee, a bunch of bread. I'm going to be okay for the day until dinner probably. And afterwards I can go explore the mosque right across the street. And yeah, I'm very excited that I'm in Casablanca. It's a lovely morning. I can literally smell the seaside from where I'm sitting and see it. But I'm going to dig in and have some coffee and get ready for the rest of my day in Casablanca. But for now, check out this video. After a lovely brunch at the Gatsby restaurant, I'm going now to finally see the Hassan II Mosque and check out some other beautiful sights around Casablanca. Let's go check it out. Welcome to the Hassan Mosque II. We're just here about to go in by a ticket and see what it's all about. I'm very excited to check out this beautiful mosque in Casablanca. But first, let's just get to buy the ticket. I went through the wrong entrance. I think I went to the exit. So now I'm just trying to figure out where to buy the ticket, enter, and see this amazing mosque. It has the largest, I mean the tallest minaret in the whole world, so it is pretty big. Womp womp. As always, something goes a little bit awry, and it was actually prayer hours, so I decided to go to the waterfront instead till my tour. I'm so glad I'm on this side of the Atlantic Ocean. I feel like I can see Florida way off out in the distance. Just kidding, but I'm really happy to be here. I arrived a little late because you have to go between 9 a.m. and 12 p.m. or 1 p.m. to be able to go on a tour of the mosque, or you have to come back afterwards from 3 to 5 because between 1 to 3 they have the call to prayer, so it's reserved obviously for all the Muslims who are going to pray. But for now, I'm just going to chill, walk along the seaside, take some photos, and then maybe head to the Place de Mohammed V, the Square of Mohammed V, and then come back for a tour. But for now, I'm just going to relax and enjoy the views and the fresh air from the sea. It's definitely an amazing experience to be here. Thanks so much. You, oh, I don't know who I'm thinking, but thanks for my dad for making me have Moroccan because I'm having an amazing time and people have been so friendly. I cannot wait to explore more Morocco because so far Casablanca, even though many people try to say like, oh, Casablanca is just a big city. Honestly, I think the city has character. The people have been so friendly to me and I'm glad I stayed a few nights before heading to explore Marrakesh and Fez and McNez and everywhere in between. 
But for now, let's go explore more of the waterfront and then maybe to the Plus Muhammad V and just probably get more coffee because I'm addicted. I kept seeing a bunch of people like climbing down here to check out the water and I was like, oh, how are they getting there? But I think the tide is coming in because we all got a little bit wet, but the view's definitely a magnificent. You'll fit a trebo, as one woman put it. And I bet this place would be so kick butt in the sunset because the sun's setting that direction. And there would be a nice reflection in the water, I bet. Maybe I'll come back for a sunset, who knows. But for now, let's go check out some more of the ocean front or maybe to the Place de Mohammed V. Somebody just gave me a recommendation to go check that out. So let's get going. One of the things you sh must see when you come to Morocco and Casablanca is come to Hassan Mosse II. However, not only that, you should just walk along the maritime promenade. It is beautiful. There's a lot of life happening from people selling juices, people just enjoying the waterfront and the water, and also just kids playing around and just being kids. I just like this because it just seems so laid back and calm to enjoy a nice, beautiful, sunny day. But now I'm going to continue on. I still have about an hour and a half till I can go tour the Hassan Mosque a second and then maybe grab a coffee, charge up some things. But for now, let's go check out the Oulong Boulevard that I'm about to come across. Hello from Cafe Omne. I came, of course, for some black coffee. It cost about, yeah, seven dirham to get one huge black espresso type coffee. And yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy this, get some Wi-Fi and charge my phone. So that's a good thing is if you don't get a SIM card, then you can always just get a cup of coffee for seven Durham and then get Wi-Fi and charge as you need. But for now, I'm going to relax, enjoy my cup of coffee, and get ready for my tour of the mosque. is so beautiful. So we're in here at the Hassan Mosque the second and about to start the tour. You must take a tour. It costs 140 to go to both the museum as well as the mosque with a tour. But for now let's get going because I think we're about to start. Just about to enter. They started construction. In this, I think in 1987, he said, and then they completed it in 1993. So even when my dad was here, there's a picture of it in front of it, but it was still under construction. But now let's just go inside and check it out. We have to show our ticket and we exit out another door. Are you all from Japan? <laughs> This is massive. We're actually standing on water because they built it on pillars because the king had a idea about it. But there's actually 360 speakers throughout the entire place and the roof. The roof actually opens up. This place is so beautiful. The wood you see in here is from the Atlas Mountains and the marble is from the south in Agadir. So right now we're standing in the main room. The roof above me actually opens up and right be right over there is where the Imam would give the prayers and stands. Usually the men stand in front and all the women are in the back. But here we have different places where they can go. You see there's balconies and Below is the abolition room. The work in here, I cannot believe, was done in six, six years. Hassan Mosque is massive. It's the second largest functioning in all of Africa and the seventh largest in the world. This is where the women go up to pray. They have escalators that take them to the top of the balcony. a room of 
ablution where the Muslims they have to wash everything like three times before they can pray. The minaret is super impressive, the second tallest in the world, standing 60 stories above the skyline of Casablanca. What do you think? Impressive enough to make it worth your visit to come to Casablanca? Let me know in the comments. I just had the best tour of the Hassan Mosque the second, and now I'm just going to head to check out some other spots and just walk around and see what's good. But for now, let's get heading out of here. Looking for a quick snack on the way back, I headed to the best crepe place in town. Just at Crepe Nam in the Old Medina in Casablanca. And I got banana and Nutella. I needed some sweets to pick me up and a big bottle of water. But it looks super good. Check it out. Thank you. Thanks. So I love this. I got the banana and crepe. Banana and Nutella crepe. So good. Mm. Definitely come here. My favorite touch is that you can leave your mark at Kripna. Finally, it was time for a nap. A few hours later, it was time to check out Casablanca at night. I took a taxi actually here, a red taxi. It cost me like 13 dirhams, so I think that's about like a dollar or something to go actually quite a bit of distance. And now I'm heading to the Kenzie Tower Sky Bar. It's supposed to be pretty nice, so I decided to check it out instead of staying, you know, back in the hotel room. But it is quite hectic. Check this out. Be aware later at night, taxis may have a higher fee. Oh. Holy crap. When I got to the door, I realized I needed a reservation. However, I met a nice couple from Rabat that invited me to sit with them and I got some food and enjoyed the beautiful views at this lounge above the skyline of Casablanca. Just about to head to my hotel. I just had an awesome time. Met some locals from Rabat that just came to the Kenzie Tower Hotel to go to the Sky 28 rooftop and they had the best view ever. We were able to see the Mosque Hassan II and it was just beautiful to be way high up on the 28th floor above Casablanca and see everything. We also watched a bit of the football match. Morocco was playing to an empty stadium because of COVID. Such a great day today. I've met so many awesome locals that have made this experience so far just one of a kind. And now I'm just gonna head back. I wanna get rested for tomorrow because there's gonna be a fun, cool barbecue day at the Four Seasons that I'm gonna take you with me to go. And I wanna look fresh for that. So let's go back. If you enjoyed this video, please smash the thumbs up button and hit subscribe with the notifications on so you're made aware for this Morocco series because it's gonna be epic. Also, let me know in the comments if you have any questions about traveling to Morocco solo and what Casablanca is like.